Hey, Noah, can you hear us okay? Yeah, man. How you doing? Good. Good to see your face and congrats, man. Uh, we got all of our media on here and uh, they're ready to fire some questions if you're ready. Yeah, sounds good. We're good. All right. Let's uh, let's go first to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete Sweeney. Congratulations, Noah, on getting drafted by the Chiefs. I uh, was curious what the Chiefs' interest along the way was and what was your immediate reaction uh, to getting that call and knowing you'd be coming to Kansas City? Yeah, um, I've talked to uh, a couple of scouts, um, had a couple interviews, um, you know, with the tight end coach, um, talked to the special teams coach, um, you know, just formal interviews to get to know me, um, you know, go through different things um, about my past at Duke um, and other things. So, you know, we had a couple of, couple of those um, and, you know, I, I thought that they went well. Um, so that, that's kind of how the, um, you know, that process went. Next is Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Noah, congrats, man. Yeah, um, thank you. It, it seemed like one of the things that drew uh, the Chiefs to you was just versatility, meaning just being able to line up in different spots. Um, can you kind of describe your, your comfort level and, you know, playing in the slot, playing on the line, and they said even potentially playing in the backfield a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've played a, a multitude of positions when I was at Duke. Um, you know, I've played, you know, tight end. I've played the F. I've played fullback. Um, I also played a lot of special teams, which is something that I know um, I'm going to have to excel at and, and be really good at um, moving forward, especially with, with the Kansas City Chiefs. So, um, you know, I had a lot of experience with that. And I'm just thankful for my coaches at Duke who kind of gave me that experience. Um, you know, my tight end coach, um, my freshman year ended up being my special teams coordinator and he continued to have me on special teams. So um, I was just grateful for that. And, you know, Duke used me in a lot of ways and I'm, I'm grateful for Coach Cud and all the other coaches who kind of got me to this point and helped me along the way. Let's go next to Harold Koontz. Go ahead, Harold. Hey, congrats and welcome to Kansas City. I just got to get your thoughts on you knowing that you're going to get the kind of be the understudy or study from Travis Kelsey. What you know about Travis just from watching him and, and how excited you are to be a teammate of his? I'm extremely excited. Um, it's not every day that you get to learn from one of the best tight ends um, in the league. I mean, it's truly an honor. Um, you know, I'm excited to, to get there and kind of just be a sponge and just try to gather as much information, watch him as much as possible, see everything that he does, you know, on the field, but even off the field, you know, how he conducts his business as a professional. Um, that's something that's extremely important. So I'm just very grateful to kind of be in that position, you know, it being in one of the best organizations in, in the NFL and being able to learn from some and truly incredible people, um, you know, that's not something that you get to see every day. And I'm fortunate enough to, to be able to do that. So I'm excited to get going. I'm excited to learn from from all the coaches there and, and Travis and, and try to get the most that I can out of that. Looks like we've got two more. We'll go Richard Garvin and then we'll go Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Richard. Give it another shot, Richard. I'm hitting the unmute button for you there. Should pop up and prompt you. There you go. No, Noah, can you hear me? This. Noah, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, I can. Rich Garvin from the Worcester Telegram here. Um, obviously, not not many players out of Central Mass get drafted, um, and uh, very few from Lemonster have. What do you What are your thoughts on on uh, overcoming the odds to at least get to this point? Yeah, I mean, it, it's just a blessing to be where I'm at right now. Um, you know, like you had said, there's, there's not a whole lot of people from that area that do, but it's been amazing to see a, a ton of draft picks from the New England area. You know, Fatu went and I was super happy for him. Uh, Pat Fryermith, he's from Eastern Massachusetts, but, you know, he went in the second round. Um, Hunter Long is from New Hampshire. So it's, it's very humbling, you know, it, it's, and I'm very fortunate to kind of be in a group of, of such tremendous guys like they are. Um, so, you know, coming from Massachusetts, um, you know, very hard work mentality. You always play with a chip on your shoulder. And, you know, that's kind of the mentality that I think all of us from that area um, kind of have had throughout our high school and college careers. Um, so definitely looking forward to kind of continuing that, continuing the hard work and the dedication that it takes, um, you know, like it is from, you know, people all over the country. So it's, uh, it's exciting. I'm glad to represent Central Massachusetts and I'm kind of ready to represent them moving forward. We'll go last to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. 
you know, congratulations. And uh, I guess we need to say happy birthday as well. Is that correct? Yeah, it was my birthday uh, yesterday. So it's uh, timed up nicely. <laughs> very good. Very good, man. I, I have two questions for you. Um, when you watch the Chiefs, just what most intrigues about you? Obviously, knowing that it's not just Travis Kelsey, it's also Tyree Kill and Patrick Mahomes and the like. And then secondly, um, what did you feel like you learned about yourself at Duke um, that you didn't know about yourself previously uh, going into your college career? Do you mind repeating that first question, please? Yeah, no problem. Just your overall thoughts of the Chiefs offense, given it's Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes, Tyree Kill, the guys you're going to be playing alongside. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's an incredible offense. And, it's, you know, they, they seem like they do a lot of different things, um, you know, to get guys open. You know, obviously, Tyree Kill is a big part of that offense. Travis Kelsey, um, of course, they utilize their running backs in different ways. They, they utilize other receivers, um, you know, who may not be as big name as Tyree Kill or Travis Kelsey. But, you know, they're able to get them open. You know, they're very unique in, in that regard. Their pass, their, their, their pass scheme is, you know, seems very complex, but it, it works. Um, they, they, you know, they, they do a lot of different things, um, to be creative. And that's something that, um, I really like. you know, at, when I was at Duke, um, you know, coach Cutcliffe had a, a lot of different creative ways to get guys, the ball, get open. Um, you know, so it, it it's definitely kind of, I see some similarities there in, in terms of the creativity. Um, so it, it's definitely awesome. I, you know, I think coach Ben Amay is a, is a great mind. Um, I think he's a great coach and to be able to go in there and kind of, you know, pick things up, um, you know, from, from him, you know, and, and just learn their offense and kind of get accustomed to that. It's going to be, um, it's going to be really fun, fun to do. Um, in terms of what I learned, um, you know, being at Duke that I didn't really know before is just, you know, I think, you know, how much hard work that that level took to, to be, um, you know, to be where I'm at right now. You know, it was a grind every day. Um, the first camp that I had in college is extremely tough. It took a lot out of me mentally and physically, um, you know, so handling yourself as a professional, even though you're a college college athlete where you got to go to school um, and, and participate in, in Division one college football sports. Um, you know, that that was a that was a challenge. Um, so just the, the preparation and the hard work that it takes to kind of be at your best and be as successful as you want to, um, you know, it, it takes a lot. And it's going to be even more so at the next level when this becomes my job you know, the, the preparation, studying the playbook every night, um, all those little things mentally and physically, um, you know, I'm going to have to take that from Duke moving forward. Noah, thanks again for joining us. We appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, no, I appreciate you guys. You guys all have a great rest of your day. You too. We'll see you soon. All right, guys, hang tight. We'll pick it